socket layer. Um, <coughs> it's actually a um, standard uh, technology, standard technology for uh, making an encrypted link <coughs> between server and client. <coughs> for example, <coughs> <clears throat> One moment, please. <clears throat> there are um, some protocols uh, that define, for example, for banking. When you um, come to this, um, to the, uh, for example, the site of the university. The university, you go to your portal and you <clears throat> um, want to re register for courses in this semester. You want to pay <coughs> for, uh, you pay uh, money for the <coughs> this semester. Uh, there is a link between the um, this site, site of university, and the site of bank, your bank account. There must be some secure protocol between your system and the banking system. And uh, when um, someone wants to have this connection between a secure system and their system, it must have a SSL certificate. It's a certificate that creates an encrypted connection and uh, it shows that we can trust Yes, we can trust the system. Even uh, WhatsApp, for example, WhatsApp used its own uh, encrypt encryption method: Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. All of them has their own uh, protocol to have a trustful and um, and uh, encrypted uh, connection. So when you um, send something in the WhatsApp, in WhatsApp, you uh, expect to have a trustful and secure connection. In the banking, it's more important. Of course. That's why uh, there are some special protocols for systems like banking and other critical And security monitoring system is clear. There are some systems that uh, mon uh, monitors all the time the security issues of the system. It's a self-monitoring system. Well, <laughs> um. You asked for, when we say HTTPS, it's HTTP over SSL, okay? Uh, it means the HTTP which is secure, secure. When we are using SSL, on tra you, uh, you remember the layers of the network? We have uh, seven layers in a network, and one of them, one of the... Uh, layers in the network was uh, actually the transfer, uh, transfer layer. We have some layers in the network. And then we have SSL on or, or transfer layer security. A security in a transport layer at, uh, in a, a network. Then uh, we call it HTTPS. It was, uh, I think, since 1995 uh, when the when an escape uh, company uh, introduced SSL one uh, and then two, three. Then we had, I think, TLS something like this. I cannot remember. That. Uh, types of database control measures uh, we have here. Access control, 
inference control, flow control, and encryption. Uh, that we uh, about it later. Uh, sorry, wait for me. Uh, I have the definition uh, of these four in um, uh, next, uh, I think, upcoming file. I will check. Uh, in this class, um, in this semester, uh, we will discuss about three main methods. Uh, and mechanisms for security management. Discretionary and mandatory and role-based security mechanisms. Um, each one uh, I will discuss uh, later. Um, I have a brief definition here. I will give you a brief definition here and we will discuss more in uh, upcoming sessions. Maybe for each of them, we will have three or four sessions for each of these three main mechanisms. But uh, just for you to have an uh, overall um, information of this semester class, I will give you a brief definition of each one. First, we have discretion in the security mechanism used to grant privileges to users. It's the... Uh, it's the method that we use in SQL, for example. In, in um, small applications, when you design an application or a website, a small, um, not a small uh, actually, but um, it's uh, not very critical. We use this method. In this method, the admin, the admin of system, the admin, like in the operating system, like in operating system, in network system, in each one, operating system or network, you have an admin. The admin can define users and can have privileges to every user. For example, in Windows, in Windows, you can uh, define many users in your com computer and you can define which user can have access to which uh, part. Yes, of course. When uh, uh, I log in in Darsa, I have some, uh, some, for example, uh, parts that you cannot see. 